No moi, it is Joinen, and welcome to Animated Story. Not my animated story. This one is not mine. It is not anyone's. It is simply animated story. My animated story's slightly wilder cousin. It's like my animated story, but there's no rules. <laughs> and today we are looking at, I was transfused with golden blood. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got blood running through his veins. I guess that's what we're going with today. Hello, everyone. My name is Noah. I want wow. to tell you my story about how I had an unusual blood transfusion. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, Noah, you're a lot more enthusiastic than any other animated story voiceover person I've possibly ever heard. Why has he got so much chipper in his step? Hey, everyone. My name is Noah. He talks like a like a kid's TV show host. First of all, I have to admit that this was a secret procedure. I had to sign a bunch of non-disclosure papers. You probably mm -hmm. want to know what it was and how it happened. Sure. I mean, that's why we're here, I guess. We clicked on the video that says I was transfused with golden blood. I guess we want to know some details. <laughs> I'll tell you about it. In the meantime, like the video, write comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Write comments. I don't know why that's so much weirder than just saying comment. Hey, guys, write comments. <laughs> it's unsettling. My family and I moved to another country not so long ago in search of a better life. It was winter, so my sister and I weren't in the mood anyway. We just hated the for, cold. However, what? in the new city, mum suggested that we should take a walk with Bella. We got dressed Who's and Bella? went to the ice rink. We should take a walk with Bella? You Hold on, you're skimming over so much. You're moving countries because of some reason we didn't find out to a better place. It's cold, so you weren't in the mood anyway, which makes it sound like something was going wrong. And now you're walking with Bella. And I don't know, And I don't, both of you are walking with Bella. And I don't know who Bella is. Bella must be the dog, right? It's gotta be the dog. According to Bella, there were so many people. Wait, that's Bella. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 that can't be Bella. Because you, you just said- Mum suggested that we should take a walk with Bella. We should take a walk with Bella. And there's no mum there. Who's we? Dressed and went to the ice rink. According to Bella, there were so many people and like she saw a like cool that. forest nearby on the internet where you can take photos and shoot TikTok. Okay, it's one of these. It's one of these. We're going to have to gather ourselves, gather our thoughts here and work with what we've got <laughs> because these make no sense. We're going to shoot TikTok. Yeah, and there's apparently there's lots of people. Agreed. There was nothing to do anyway. We went there and Bella asked me to take a picture of her. I'd left my glasses at home that day and I couldn't see much. The shots were okay. blurred and my sister was indignant. Were In indignant? Your sister was indignant. You <laughs> you say we go into forest and shoot TikTok, but you use words like indignant. <laughs> the shots aren't blurry just because you don't have glasses on. Phone cameras these days, they rarely ever shoot a blurry photo. Why are you shooting in like manual focus if you don't have glasses on? Why are you shooting in manual focus on a phone anyway? First photographer. I just forgot my glasses. How could you forget them? You're almost blind without them. I can't see very well up close, but far away is fine. Maybe I should stand further away then. Let's try it. Uh, what are you? <laughs> the phone. <laughs> the phone is still close to you. Are you both that dumb? I can't see very close to me. I can see far away. Okay, I'll go stand back then. Just make sure you're looking at the phone. That's close to you. The pictures were still not very good. Then Bella yeah, says because... that she would rather take pictures of me. I know you can't see, but I can see you. And sometimes change your position. Otherwise you look like a statue, she told me. <laughs> this is so weird. It's so weird. I started falling around, parodying her. We were laughing. And then I noticed a guy in the distance. He was walking on the ice and looking at me. And then- It's Dio. It is I. Dio! <laughs> and at some point, bam, he fell through the ice. Am I wrong though? The, like, if you've watched season one, Jojo with English dub, it's kind of, I'm getting Jojo English dub season one vibes with the way, with the way he's talking. Oh no, a guy is drowning. Where? What? Let's go there. We ran in his direction and I cautiously approached the place where he had fallen. The guy was drowning, shouting, help. <laughs> I told Bella to call the emergency services and I crawled very slowly over there. I held okay. my hand out. It's not going to go well for you. I know this story. It doesn't go well for you. Don't. He will become a vampire and he will try to kill you. <laughs> but his hand was slipping 
The water was icy as hell. At some point, he managed to catch on the sleeve and I pulled him out. We lay down on the ice, side by side, but I couldn't catch my breath. Phew, thank you, man. You saved my life. Yeah. Why is he talking? The talking signals, cues don't even line up with what he's, with what, it was the other guy talking and he was the one mouthing it. And then there was another crunch and I heard the crackle of ice under me. Oh no, I said, and immediately fell through the ice. I remember <laughs> my sister's screams and the guy tried to catch me, but I was so frozen, I couldn't move. I couldn't so even frozen, breathe you couldn't move. passed out. In my mind- Oh, all right. Goodbye. <laughs> Jeez, that was a grim story. <laughs> I had already said goodbye to Bella and my parents, but then wow. I felt a warm hand touching my face. Noah, Noah, honey, a familiar voice said. I opened my eyes and found myself in a hospital. My mum and dad were crying, and the doctor said I was going to be taken by a private ambulance to the rich street. Uh, good thing it's his doctor, otherwise we wouldn't know what to call him. Street hospital. We don't have that much money, I said. Then the guy that I pulled out of the water came up to me. Uh, he's rich. Yeah, well, obviously he's rich. He's got a bling. He's got a bling. He's got that drip. He's coming up. He's like, don't worry about it, fam, squad. You saved me from the ice. I'm going to save you from the ice. I'm going to do you a solid. Then we're going to have like uh, uh, connected bloodlines for like generations. It's going to be a whole thing. And he said his parents would do everything. I lost consciousness again. And when I woke up, I was already in another room. The place was an expensive boarding house, more than a hospital. Where am uh -huh. I? We're in hospital, private. Don't worry, it's okay. You were badly injured by a shard of ice. It cut your aorta. You lost a lot of blood. Badly injured by a shard of ice. Really? That's unfortunate. Not only were you like drowning in a lake, you <laughs> also cut by a shard. Did it even happen? Is that even possible? You need a transfusion and you were given blood by these people whose son you saved. Are you feeling better now? It's like, I didn't get sick. It's so confusing because he just mouthed the words, are you feeling better now? When it was his mum saying it to him. Then I felt my eyes. It was strange, but my vision was so crisp and clean as if I was wearing lenses, but I didn't have them as well as glasses. Mum, you have wrinkles. She smiled and said it was just age. Then the doctors called her. What? What was that little detail there about the wrinkles? <laughs> mum, you have wrinkles. Uh, it's just age. Anyway, moving on with the story. <laughs> is, has that got any connection? I stayed in the room and Bella came in with the guy. Noah, hi. His name is Rick. Do you remember him? I don't think I'll ever forget him. He was here with his parents for a long time. They fed us. I don't think I'll ever forget him. I almost died saving his life. So he, he owes me one. And paid all the procedures. Why? You saved my life. I couldn't stay in debt. That's the least we could do for you. Bella, can you get us some water? Bella left the room and Rick and- He's sus, like, I'm sorry. He hasn't done anything uh, sus actually yet, but he is uh, he is sus. It doesn't matter whether he has done anything sus. He just is. I am very unsure about this guy. I were left alone. He suddenly asked me if I felt any strange improvements in my body, to which I replied that my vision had improved and nothing hurts. He said it was okay because they had given me some different blood. Oh, you got superpowers. You got golden blood. That's what that's what happens, guys. If you inject blood, you get superpowers. Sorry, if you inject if you inject gold, you get superpowers. Don't I mean, I would say don't. <laughs> I would say don't inject gold into your bloodstream, but like do we do people just have like liquid gold sitting around? <laughs> what does that mean? I come from a very rich family, as you understand. We are not treated in regular hospitals and order drugs to order. I have the same blood in my veins as you, so I didn't get sick after the ice water. You would have died if it wasn't for that golden blood. Oh, there's like rich people blood. There's rich people blood that can save you from stuff? Dang, that makes a lot of sense. That explains a lot of rich people living old and not dying or something. Gold? That's what we call it. It protects almost all members of our family from diseases, but not from accidents. Then Bella came back into our room and Rick stopped talking and said he- Where's the water? Rick's like, what? I told you to get water, Bella. I told you to get water. The golden blood doesn't help with temper. You still, uh, you still get ang angry. <laughs> he would come to visit me at home later. 
I was released from the hospital a day later, and as soon as I got home, I looked in the mirror and noticed that my vision wasn't just good, it was 100%. Just like Spider-Man. That's exactly what happened to Spider-Man. I know where this goes. You'll be able to go like this and, and just gold will come pouring out of your wrists. I could see the small pores on my cheeks in the mirror and I didn't even strain. Then my mother <laughs> came into the room and asked Bella if she had seen her red purse. I haven't seen it in a long time, my sister replied. And Sister then I Wolf. blurted out, it's in the garage on the top shelf. You went to your grandmother's and left it there. And then I fell silent. How did I know that? How did I know? Was it because of the rich people blood? My mother asked in surprise how I knew because the trip was more than two months ago. He turns in the golden man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, there was a, uh, there was a, there was a James Bond movie about that, wasn't there? I just remembered it. Supervision? It's a lame joke. I don't want people, people are gonna, pull me up in the in the comments they're gonna be like what do you <laughs> what do you mean golden man it was finger i, I like I'm, I'm making a joke <laughs> memory i thought to myself is this the golden blood suddenly there was a knock on yep. the door and rick had come to see me oh yeah by the way uh listen that golden blood we gave you you're you're gonna be able to just you're like a superhero now so just keep that in mind and don't tell anyone. Our family will make sure that if you tell a soul, yeah. He invited me for a walk and told me that in fact, the golden blood has unique properties. You can't Whoa. find it in hospitals. As I said, we order it. We have a whole community of rich neighbors. Rel you order it. Do you want to be a little bit more specific? Where do you get this blood from? Where do you get it from rich person? Relatives. It costs a lot of money. But when my ancestors heard that you saved my life, they were not stingy. Oh yes, here's another one. He held out his car keys. What's that? The car, your gift. I hope you'll accept it. <laughs> yeah, we're also gonna give you a new car! Yay! He comes running. <laughs> you know this is the car i always wanted <laughs> i love you david i mean uh rick i didn't want to take such an expensive gift but rick insisted saying mm -hmm. it was from his parents as a token of gratitude if it wasn't for me you wouldn't be in trouble at all i thanked him and came home so happy showed the gift to my parents bella was the most excited she asked me to take her for a ride but i said i was busy right now <laughs> God tier storytelling. I got this new car and I brought it home and showed it to my family. Bella was like, oh, take me for a ride. And I said I couldn't because I am busy right now. Thank you for that very important piece of information. What's with the glasses? Why are we still wearing glasses? I was going to do my lessons, so I missed a lot. Then she got angry Your and lessons? left somewhere. An hour later, we got a call at home <laughs> and I heard my- This is like how kids tell, tell stories. When you're like in year two, and you've got to write your, your weekend diary about what you did on the weekend. And then I went home and Bella wanted to go for a drive, but I was busy. Then she got angry and left somewhere. <laughs> then it was the next day. <laughs> a mother talking from the kitchen. Yes, I also had better hearing now. Oh no, what? Where? How? Then I realized what it was about. Bella. I ran out of the room and my mother was standing there crying. And then she started to leave. Mum. And then she, <laughs> my mother was there crying. And then she started to leave. This is actual, this is actual, just like a, a seven year old's weekend diary. Wait, what happened? Bella, she stole your car and had an accident. My mother what? and I went to the hospital and found Bella in the operating room. The doctor said we need a blood donor. I'll, <laughs> I'll give her some golden blood. It's easy. Go. No, you're just out of hospital. I won't let you. It's okay, mum. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. You have zero clue what you're doing. Are you just assuming that your blood type is compatible with hers? You don't know what your blood type is anymore. You got some weird golden blood. You don't know how any of this works. Somehow, I managed to persuade my mother to sign the agreement. I was immediately transferred to a ward and put to sleep. I gave Bella my blood and they gave me what they had, the usual blood. When I oh, opened no. my eyes, there was a haze in front of me. I realized oh, no. that my fog vision had returned. You pass it to your sister? <laughs> noob move. Dude, noob move. What have you done? 
<laughs> My glasses were on the table beside me. I put them on and went to Bella's room. Doctors stood and wondered why the girl, after so many serious injuries, has already come to her senses and feels great. Mm. Her vital signs were normal, and I was very happy about it. Hi okay. everyone, I'm Kurt. As you may have noticed, I'm a guy, but I have something from a girl. This is something that will surprise you greatly and from which will arise a lot of questions. What? You're a guy, but you have something from a girl. Kirk? To be honest, I had a lot of them myself when I saw this thing in my own place. Well, everything in order. First, I'll tell you more about myself. I have a family with me, an older brother, in addition to my parents. My brother has lived with like us that? for a long time because he's married and has his own family, and I'm younger and still haven't got out of the nest. My brother okay. and I are different. He is more calm, likes quiet evenings, board games with children, heart-to-heart -heart conversations over a cup of tea, and I always loved extreme sports. Extreme sports. My brother loved a heart-to-heart -heart conversation over some tea, and I loved extreme sports. Here I am sitting in a sweater vest, punching a <laughs> punching bag. <laughs> Why are your barbells racked with all the weights on them? They're bending. Get the weights off. Put the plates over on the where the plates go. I was doing sports. I was pumping my body. I had a perfect six pack. The muscles on my arms were sticking out nicely from under my t-shirts. I was proud of my body, mainly because I am more like my father. My dad is also active, and my mother is modest and quiet. When summer okay. comes, I will be definitely be climbing mountains. Swim I will be definitely be climbing mountains. Swimming <laughs> at speed on a scooter, sometimes racing by car. I'm a risk taker, and I think life is one. So you <laughs> have to live it with emotions. <laughs> what? This is the driest delivery of what the script is saying that you could possibly go for. I am a risk taker. I will probably be climbing mountains and driving fast cars. <laughs> I live my life one quarter mile at a time. <laughs> it's all about the family. Once, though, my recklessness almost killed me. In the middle of the holidays, the boys and I decided to go for fun on the boats. The weather was just awesome. The boys and I decided to go for fun on the boats. <laughs> We invited a few girls to relax with us. One of them I really liked, and I planned to hit on her that day. Okay, what? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with this story? In general, the guys and I drank a little alcohol. Well, from somewhere came the courage. Mixed feelings of extreme with reckless. The boat on which we rode, we had rented. Every the boat on which we rode, we had rented. Everything was great, from the mood to the water. At some point, when we were already pretty drunk, I asked the girl I liked to dance. Lola agreed immediately, and I realized that she had the same feelings for me. We held- My goodness, dude, that grin? That grin is terrifying. I was going to skip over this story because it's clearly not related, but this one is so- it, it, This one is far more bizarre than the last one. Held hands and danced to a cool slow dance, and I was happy. I looked into her eyes. She smiled at me, and I knew that now is a very important moment. She is waiting for my kiss. <laughs> you, you, what? <laughs> this is not a human. This is like this is like an AI. She smiled at me, and I realized that this is now an important moment. She is waiting for my kiss. <laughs> Sounds like it was Google translated and then put into a voice generator. You're exactly right. I leaned forward slightly and held my breath. At that moment, the boat lurched and we lost our balance. Oh no. Oh no. Is this gonna be a classic? Classic moment. Lola started to fall down, and I caught her arm. Okay, all right. You caught her. Wait, is she falling off the boat? We were very scared, and the guys were too. And My goodness, the boat's sideways. What on earth? Where are you sailing? I thought you were in like a river. Are you out in like the middle of the ocean? The panic started. One of the guys jumped right into the ocean, but suddenly I saw that another boat was coming at us. Dude, the driver lost control and it was heading straight for us. Dude, no way. I am so surprised at what you are saying. <laughs> at that moment, I saw everything in slow motion. Lola and I, she was in the water. I was on the boat holding her hand and a boat yeah, was moving I know. towards us. Wait, was the boat tipped or not? For a second there, the boat was completely sideways. And then once and for all, I lost consciousness. 
I came to myself only in the hospital. I'm not. I we're gonna continue. I don't know exactly how much time passed, but when I opened ignore. my eyes, what my mouth said? was dry, and I didn't immediately know where I was or what I was doing. My mother and brother ran up to me. They began to calm me down, saying that everything was fine. When I was a little more recovered, I turned my head and saw that my right arm was bandaged. Look at the legs off the end of the bed! There's no way they're attached! Those legs are not attached anymore! But the real panic started when I couldn't move it. The doctor came in and see the fear in my eyes, and he calmed me down and explained that we had been in a terrible accident. You yep. and that girl Lola, you were holding hands when the boat hit you, so you lost yep. both your hands. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's simple, all right? You were holding hands and the boat hit you. So clearly, you lost your hands. What do you, what do you expect? <laughs> right, and she's left. We did the surgery and sewed them back on, the doctor said, as if he were talking about dolls instead of people. I began to be indignant. How did they come? Rejected? Are indignant again is their favorite I word. I became hysterical, but my parents calmed me down. It wasn't until an hour later that I became hysterical. I sounded exactly like this. Oh no. But I finally got the message that the doctors did it for a reason, but to save our hands. I was in a state of shock and didn't want to accept this information. It's good <laughs> that I blacked out and don't remember what it felt like. And most importantly, okay. I didn't see what it was like. Only after a while did I ask how Lola was doing. She, unlike me, did not lose consciousness and watched all this and endured the pain. What? They didn't put her to sleep or anything? They literally sewed her ha uh, hand back on and didn't put her to sleep? She was given a lot of painkillers and sedatives. She was asleep at the time. After some oh. time, I don't know exactly how long, what? I was finally told the good news. You can remove the stitches and see the result. In principle, I felt my hand. Of course it hurt. But everything <laughs> in principle i felt my hand of course it hurt is better than without it at all it was an exciting moment when the bandages were finally removed the room was silent i didn't look to my right but the silence made me tense i looked at the doctor and the nurse saw the confusion on their faces and lowered my eyes did they get each other's hands did the doctors mix up the hands and now he's got like two left hands or something <laughs> no way <laughs> what what did you do to her? Why is my hand so thin? Why is it painted red? I shouted, yeah. as if scalded. I didn't understand why they had so disfigured her until I heard a scream from the other ward. Lola shouted the same words. Yes. She's got a man's hand. As you guessed, we were sewn on the wrong hands. The doctors <laughs> made a mistake and swapped our hands. This is such <laughs> trash. Lola. <laughs> He's so mad about it too. Calm down, my man. This is such trash. <laughs> Watch your language. This tantrum was worse than mine, but she's a girl. We were still. What is that supposed to mean? Lola's tantrum was worse than mine, but she's a girl. A long time to calm down until the doctors again injected us with sedatives. After the chief physician came running to us, they injected you with sedatives because you were freaking out. Them. He promised to resolve the issue quietly and peacefully at his own expense. But for this, we will have to go back to the operating table. In the meantime, you need to take some time to get your muscles a little stronger, because the operation is not a joke. Removing one hand and putting another hand back on? Turns out, not a joke. <laughs> a day later, Lola and I met at the hospital to look at our hands, and she couldn't <laughs> hold back her tears at the sight of hers. How many things she saw and remembered for the rest of her life. This boat what? ride will stay in her head forever. We sure. somehow found words of support for each other, and then we had to live a little as the doctor ordered. And then we had to live a little. <laughs> so we went to the club. <laughs> this actually has to be the most bizarre animated story we've ever watched. It was terrible and ugly and strange to see yourself in the mirror with the woman's hand, and knowing that you can control it. Lola and I only saw each other to check on our limbs to see if they were all right. But man. Wait, what? You're, you're <laughs> Since that day, we never really spoke. Uh, but we did catch up on the occasion. Just to check on each other's hands. <laughs> how's, how's my hand going? Oh, yeah, it's doing all right. How's mine? Yeah, it's doing okay. All right. See you later. We don't want an enemy to go through that. Lola and I tried to hide our hands as best we could. The school year has already started long ago. It's good that we went to different schools. I wore long sleeves and a glove on my hand to hide it. The doctors did everything they could to make sure I could manage it, but I would still have it. 
I didn't even mind the <laughs> awful seam on my forearm anymore. We went through this for about a month, carefully hiding a part of ourselves, and waited impatiently for the second operation. I wasn't uh -huh. even afraid of the fact that my arm would have to be amputated. I was willing to have what was rightfully mine returned to me. <laughs> that, that hand is rightfully mine! <laughs> you will return that hand to me at once! Still, as the doctor promised, the operation was done. Everything went well. Of course, rehabilitation, medications, pain, and the desire to destroy the hospital were also present. But this time without any mistakes. Everything went fine. I'm still in the recovery phase with Lola. It should take time. It's good that we have it. Now I plan to in We should take time. It's good that we have it. <laughs> if that isn't the takeaway message. Guys, you should just take your time. It's good that you have it. I don't even know where to begin with this one, so I'm just not. Come and follow me on Twitch. We stream these live and get some of the lemon cut merch or the nug thug merch. And I will see you guys tomorrow.